I'm Hunter Swinney and I'm the Insight Sales and Professional Development Rep here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the PCD series. If you've never used PCD or prep tools before, there are a few things that you're going to want to keep in mind. First, and probably the most important, is that these are directional tools. So depending on what machine that you use, the direction that that drum and head spins on that machine, you're going to want to use either a left or right facing tool. Some people call it an A or a B tool. To determine which one of those tools you need, left, right, A, B, you're gonna to wanna to find out what direction your drum and head spin. For a CPS 320, the drum spins counterclockwise. That causes the head to spin clockwise. And that means that you would need a left facing tool to be on that grinder. Electric machines are gonna be a little different in that you can actually switch the direction on those machines. If you're someone that has an electric machine, it would just be best to be conscious of this whenever you're choosing a PCD or directional tool. When you're faced with a job that you know you're gonna to need to use a PCD or prep tool, you need to just gauge what level of aggressiveness that you need for that. A more aggressive option is gonna be a double segment PCD with two of these poly polycrystalline diamonds on them. From there, an intermediate option would be a PCD with a wear bar. That wear bar is going to keep that PCD from eating into the floor and gouging the floor. A little less aggressive than those two is going to be an arrow, and this is going to be for thin mill coatings. Uh, we actually have these bond match, so depending on what type of coating, you would choose an arrow that would suit it best. I hope this tech tip video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at 877-472-8200.